Sauna bathing is a form of passive heat therapy characterized by exposure to high temperature and seems to be a common recovery intervention during intensive training phases in athletes, particularly in the form of the classical Finnish sauna. For example, when asked about the importance of different recovery strategies, German sports science practitioners rated sauna as the third most important recovery intervention for athletes. Sour baths are widely used for pleasure and relaxation, which reduce the stresses of everyday life. The warm temperature is supposed to relax muscles, nerves, and blood vessels, which might positively affect relaxation and well-being. It is believed that IT contributes to rehabilitation after injuries, activates the sympathetic nervous system, and increases blood perfusion to the muscle. In total, 20 competitive swimmers and triathletes. The participants had a minimum of two years training and competition experience at or higher than national level. Each athlete participated in four sessions over four days, with seven-day washout between sessions. Each session included two days of testing, pre and post. The study was conducted in a randomized, counterbalanced, crossover design, in which athletes completed an intensive training session in the afternoon of the first day in each block, followed by either a sauna bathing intervention or a placebo condition. Prior to training, swimmers performed a counter-movement jump test as well as a 4 times 50 meters all-out swim with 30 seconds of recovery between bouts. A schematic overview is outlined in the figure. Upon arrival to each session, participants first completed the German version of the Acute Recovery and Stress Scale. The Acute Recovery and Stress Scale assesses the current recovery and stress state on an emotional, mental, physical, and overall level. Afterward, venous blood samples were. After a short warm-up, counter-movement jump performance was assessed. All assessments were repeated on the following morning prior to training. Before each test, swimmers performed the same individual warm-up that consisted of low to moderate intensity aerobic swimming. After the warm-up, they were given 5 to 10 minutes to relax and prepare themselves for the subsequent 4 times 50 meters trial, which was swum in each swimmer's individual main stroke, 13 front crawl, 1 back stroke, 3 breast stroke, and 3 butterfly. Participants were required to complete each 50 meters bout in the shortest possible time, with 30 second breaks between each bout. Females completed the tests in their normal swimsuits, to resemble real competition as closely as possible, participants were classified into different groups according to their personal best time and their individual main stroke. Heart rate was and immediately after the trial, participants were asked to report their RPE. The main program was a standardized 10 times 100 meters intensive interval session at 107% of the individual anaerobic threshold which was swum in each participant's main stroke. Internal load marker along with RPE to calculate training load was collected following each training session. Heart rate was measured after 5 times 100 meters as well as 10 seconds after cessation of the last 100 meters bout. In the sauna condition, training was followed by a 35-minute finish sow bath. After, participants were advised to dip from a standing position and immediately jump as high as possible. After a few familiarization jumps, minimum 5 and maximum 10 jumps, the counter-movement jump was performed several times to ensure technically correct jumps. The four best jumps were averaged and used for analysis. Training load the hear rate after the 10 times 100 meters interval training was significantly higher in the group that had the sauna, compared with placebo. Performance results. Total 4 times 50 m time increased after sow by 1.69% whereas time decreased after the placebo group by 0.66%. Mean and individual time to completion are shown in the figure. Of 20 swimmers, 15 recorded slower performance times after the sauna group, whereas performance improved IN5 athletes. After the placebo group, performance decreased IN11 swimmers and increased IN9 swimmers. A significant time effect was observed within the 50 meters splits. 
post hoc analysis revealed a significantly faster first split compared with all others in both conditions for pre intervention and post intervention. No significant differences in single splits were observed between conditions and testing session. However, differences in pre post changes within single splits revealed a significantly greater decrease in performance in the first 50 meters. No significant difference could be observed in pre-post changes of hematocrit values. Overall stress was significantly higher after the sauna compared with the placebo group, however, no difference was observed in any other scale.